is Bishop Dr. Truman Burst. Masterlist. Uh, coming to you from Good Shepherd Ministries. Valerian root. Why is valerian root in a formulation that supports people who have anxiety? It's a food that uh, is used throughout Europe. It's the favorite. A sedative herb in Europe has been used for centuries for anxiety and, and nervousness. Let's take a look at why. Okay, The benefits of valerian. Valerian root has been used medicinally since the times of early Greece and Rome. Historically, valerian was used to treat insomnia, migraine. Back in the early days, this is what they used. That was their medicine back in, in Greece and Rome. And what they used it for was insomnia, migraine, fatigue, stomach cramps. But today, you know, valerian is promoted for insomnia to be used when there's a supportive food needed for anxiety, depression, menstrual syndrome, PMS, menopause symptoms, and headaches are some of the main uses of valerian root today. Is it okay to take valerian root every day? Well, many studies have found valerian root to be a safe, natural sleep aid. Uh, researchers have found taking valerian root regularly for up to 28 days doesn't cause problems for most adults. People taking sedatives or other anti-anxiety or sleep medications should avoid valerian root. Don't try to take your drugs and a valerian root. They may interact. But valerian root, it really does work. It's been used, like it says, since thousands of years ago throughout Europe. And scientists aren't sure how valerian works. But they believe it in valerian increases the amount of chemical called gamma aminobutyric acid, G-A-B-A, -A, GABA. It increases this in the brain. And the GABA, which is an amino acid, helps regulate nerve cells and has a calming effect on anxiety. And you can get GABA all by itself. And it's harmless. You can take two or three tablets of it at a time. All it's going to do is act as a sedative and have a calming effect. Who should not take valerian root? Valerian root may not be safe if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. And it has not been evaluated to determine if it's safe for children under three years old. If you have liver disease, avoid taking valerian. And because valerian can make you drowsy, avoid driving or operating dangerous machinery after taking it. Okay? 60 years later of using valerian root, and people have never told me they had any problem at all with valerian root. Is, is valerian better than melatonin to help you sleep? Melatonin can be helpful for jet lag, helping your brain adjust to the new time zone. Valerian root has been shown to help reduce sleep latency and help you get to sleep faster. Both melatonin and valerian are safe as long as you keep the dosage relatively low, but should be avoided when pregnant or breastfeeding. Side effects of valerian root include those who would be allergic to it, would have a headache, stomach upset, mental dullness, excitability, uneasiness, heart disturbances, and even insomnia in very few people. A few people feel drowsy in the morning still after taking valerian, especially if they're taking high doses. 
And some people experience dry mouth or vivid dreams if they're very sensitive to valerian root. Other than that, only a small number of cases of liver injury attributed to valerian have been published. There have been no instances of chronic hepatitis, cirrhosis, or banishing bile duct syndrome attributed to the use of valerian root, and no convincing case of acute liver failure. That study as of April 5, 2020. So we don't really find a negative problem with valerian root, but we're always careful with any food because some people are allergic to strange things or different things. So we always start whatever we're using, any herb or any food, always start with a little bit of it and make sure that it agrees with you and that there's no problem. Then you can increase the dosage slowly to either you like it or you don't like it. It works or it doesn't work. Many note that the herb works best when uh, you, you take it for a week or two. Then your body really kind of gets sensitive to it. However, research has not fully explored the long-term effects of valerian. Valerian may cause vivid dreams because it contains an essential oil and compounds called iridoid glycosides. These iridoid glycosides stimulate opioid receptors and serotonin production in your brain, producing relaxing and antidepressive effects. So, no, it does not increase your serotonin. Does uh, valerian get rid of anxiety? Studies have indicated that valerian is effective in treating anxiety and depression in menopausal women. Valerian is a safe herbal remedy, and valerian has also shown efficacy with few or no adverse effects when used correctly and following expert recommendations. So anyway, valerian, you, you had to find out about valerian, one of the greatest sedatives that has been used for thousands of years.